I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then, last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh, he may not hear from me again for a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Goodbye, Maya. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As Soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. Whose bright idea was it to leave this open? A child might fall in. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold. It looks flimsy. I should just find another way around it. <gasps> Hello? Where'd they go? There was someone just here. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. I should ring the doorbell, see if he answers. I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Nick, are you here? There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. How is he living like this? This is terrible. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? 
Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? <laughs> right, like this is gonna keep me out. Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. Would it hurt to clean up a little? I think I just lost my appetite. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. He's probably been in this apartment for what, 10 months now? How much would it hurt him to get a cupboard to put his clothes away? Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think, if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16, driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. This looks like it could use a cleaning, like everything else here. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died, before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. 
What is he doing to himself? Once I find him, I'm going to have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. I remember that shirt. I think I'd given it to him for a birthday. <sighs> Why does he have to be such a slob? Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Jeez. Hello? Hello? How did this door open? There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. Who unlocked it? I should turn on this computer. A USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. This could be it. Random drawer junk, nothing useful. Nothing useful here. This looks days old. This looks days old.
Wait, that file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there, but that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. Looks like it's crashed. I should restart the computer. Ah! Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building.
That was Nick's voice, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get this PC going again. <sighs> Hello? Is someone there? It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. to me. was that? <gasps> Nick! Wait! Nick! 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 Stop! It's me!
down here. Come quickly. I'm waiting for you, Maya. Where are you? We're all waiting. You can't save me, Maya. You never could. Even when we were growing up, you couldn't even protect me from myself. The accident, Alex's death, my miserable life, all of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but... There's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something, or someone, stepped between us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me.